It's a cool way to encourage students to get involved with science and technology. Rube Goldberg, machine contests are growing in popularity, and as Brian Nisnansky tells us, they were once exclusive to high school students, but not anymore. Over 40 teams from area middle schools are participating in this year's Rube Goldberg competition with a simple task of putting a coin into a bank. Each team's machine has to complete this given task in eight steps or more. And some, well, worked better than others. We pull the cup and drink some water. The sponge would move up and then a boulder would go down the castle and down the ramp. The judges consisted of local science professionals, including a familiar face. There were some really cool innovative uh, ideas though, like they had their penny inside a balloon that gets popped to be dropping to the piggy bank. This is the second year for the local middle school competition, branching off of the much larger and locally successful high school competition. I'm pleased to say that actually one of our local schools, Pius 11 High School, was crowned the national champion this year. So really strong rube interest and just great kids here working on this project. There is an obvious emphasis on teamwork, leading each young scientist with something to be proud of. I think everybody worked hard, Ryan and Lily did, and it, I'm just really happy to be here and we're all really happy to have this opportunity. STEM Forward is the organization behind today's competition, enriching area students with an education in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. On the MSOE campus in Milwaukee, meteorologist Brian Nisnansky, today's TMJ4. STEM4 was founded in 1905 and has since evolved into a leading technical organization in southeastern Wisconsin.